Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have some real life cleaning, just this huge mess that kept piling up. Have you ever had a week where you just struggled to get going, to get things cleaned up, to keep up with everything? And then the bigger the mess becomes, the more overwhelming it all seems. That is exactly how my week went. I have real life cleaning um, my kitchen um, from several meals, real life cleaning in my dining room, and I found the perfect way to relieve a little bit of the stress that built up during the course of the week. Right after the introduction, please enjoy about a minute and a half of balloon popping. Yep, you heard me, balloon popping. Well, if you found that boring, I'm terribly sorry. I found even, even just re-watching this as I'm editing that balloon popping is very stress relieving. So I still kind of enjoyed it. At any rate, what you just saw was what was left of the balloon fort that Chris and the girls made for Father's Day. And that was, you know, two weeks ago. So this was definitely time for it to come down and everything be put away. I was very careful with all of these little bits of plastic floating around and, you know, two kiddos and three cats. So um, all of the little pieces made it into the garbage. I have not seen any of them floating around the house. So I struggled all week to get myself going and so I desperately needed this little bit of stress relief and this motivation and it kind of got me up and moving. So if you are new here, then welcome to my channel, Clean the Day. I am all about, you know, seizing whatever time of the day I have to, you know, try to check a few things off of my to-do list. And I always try not to worry about the rest because you it's impossible to accomplish everything in one day. So um, if you are an... Um, if you've been here before and you're back again, then welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. 
um, in my channel. I just appreciate the growth so much. I appreciate all of the uh, viewers who are watching. Um, it's just been wonderful. So I have a week's worth of messes to get cleaned up. Almost a week's worth. It's not that bad, but definitely cleaning almost a day's worth of meals. Um, and then Freya, of course, had her breakfast all over the floor and on her chair. So it was time for me to buckle down and get some cleaning done. And so um, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get started. This is so weird and so unnecessary Look at we both got real good Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me coming On my down, dining down. room table I used Dawn Power Wash Because I love how the foam just kind of sits in all of the little crevices in my table and then I can just wipe it away so it works perfect for that and on my floor I am using a dull razor blade so I'm not damaging my floor I'm being very careful but I'm using it to get any of the sticky mess that just won't come up um, off the floor and then this is my O cedar uh, spray mop which I love and right now what's in it I believe is of the lavender fabuloso from the Dollar Tree that's such a great great cleaner when I just need to when I just need to get things cleaned up and I don't have a lot of time that's kind of something that I reach for I don't think I've mentioned it before so I'm finishing up here in the dining room and I wanted to make sure I shared with you the products that I use because I love them so much. And I believe there's links for the mop and even the power wash in the description. All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa But I'm not gonna wake up Cause 
I don't think I introduced myself before, um, so if I didn't, my name is Erin, and I am a wife and a mother. My husband, uh, his name is Chris, and we've been married for five years. We have two daughters. Um, they are three and one. My three-year-old goes to a school uh, full-time, and my one-year-old is home with me, although she is actually on the waiting list. Um, for the same school that her sister goes to so it'll be kind of exciting I think when they're both able to go to school together instead of having to say goodbye in the morning Which is super cute, but also weirdly sad because <laughs> it looks like they miss each other at any rate um, so I'm finishing up in the kitchen, but I just wanted to make sure that I took a minute to introduce myself so um, besides running this YouTube channel I have other little side businesses going on um, just anything I can do that helps bring a little income to my family I have even driven for DoorDash you know just to make a little bit of extra cash um, I have two Etsy stores um, one is entirely devoted to a lot of the crocheted items that I've made over the years mostly baby stuff little baby hats and baby mitts and baby um, shoes it's it's all super cute um, and then my husband and I just opened a store on Etsy for um, um, printable documents like I have a meal planning kit and um, invitation like party invitations and they're all really easy to use um, like the invitations you just print them out on whatever paper that you want and then they're just the fill out kind which honestly for mercy and the birthday parties that I know we're gonna be doing in the future it's just perfect for me to write in everything there's no reason for me to go and order something super fancy so um, those are um, things that you are more than welcome to check out if you're just here for the motivation that's completely fine too I also am a stylist with Color Street I love 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 to do my nails so if you're into nails and getting a um, cool fun do-it-yourself manicure you're welcome to check out that link as well um, but I'm not um, I don't know what you'd call it like a used car salesman so I'm not I'm not here to like suck you into some silly deal I'm just a mom doing what she can do to support her family so if you want to check out the links check out the links if you're here for the motivation then stick around and uh, or clean with me so even better
So this last weekend, um, which this little mini vacation we had is kind of where my slump I think came from, but at any rate, the girls stayed with their grandparents for two nights and Chris and I um, flew up to Michigan for a class reunion, which was a lot of fun. I think we thought we were escaping from the incredible heat that we have going on right now in Florida and we were wrong. It was, it was hot. So. Um, let me know. I'd love to know in the comments just a fun way to get to know each other. So what like region or state are you tuning in from? And instead of telling me, you know, what's going on with the weather, um, what is your favorite part about summer? Maybe <laughs> right now it's really hot and it's hard to find a favorite thing, but I live in Florida and the one thing that is really cool during the summer is how warm the swimming pools are. So I have to admit that that is something that I actually really enjoy. Um, yes, you do see that I am using a knife to very carefully and gently scrape up a couple bits on my stove that didn't want to come up. I did not scratch it. I was super careful. So I'm just getting finished up here and so if you are hanging out with me during the whole of my videos and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hang out. I was supposed to do a Tuesday video and I was not able. I just could not get myself together. We all have weeks like that but I will have a Tuesday video coming up this week. So. Stay tuned for that. And I have a couple after pictures for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining with me and I will see you all this week. <laughs>